Hello everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and I've got some exciting, uh, an exciting development here for the first time ever, or well, second time really, um, and I hope it's going to carry on like this. We're looking here at my Maypop Passiflora Incarnata. Um, I've tried growing these before and they've failed, they've died from uh, damp each winter, not from the cold, it's the wet that kills them, so I decided to have a go with another one and plant it in a different part of the garden, this one's against a west facing wall and it's in a raised bed and I planted it in a much more sandy gritty soil because I felt the problem I was having with these was not the cold but the um, but the wet in the winter months and of course we've had a, an extremely cold winter and a very wet winter um, the other problem with these is they get attacked by slugs or snails and I can see this has been eaten but this one here has been completely unfazed by the cold we had in December and the snow but more importantly it's actually shooting up all over the place and bear in mind the roots and stems were pretty exposed on it so I'm hoping that that means that I've found a location that's going to suit it much much better this year and there's a good chance there's the label for it which uh, has gone astray I'm hoping that means that we're going to get um, a decent flower display on it this year because uh, they're a little bit um, late coming up in this country because of our uh, our sort of late our late summers and the fact that it's quite cool in the spring but so far these stems are looking very promising it probably helps that we haven't had any rain recently so the plants are lot drier than it would normally be so but I'm quite excited about this because it does look as if I'm going to get a good flower display this year they don't appear to be self fertile normally which means I may not see fruits on it at all but even if I get uh, even if I get flowers against this fence it'll be a lovely display the other passive floras that I planted including the one that was meant to be hardy and actinia uh, totally destroyed by the cold this year because it was extremely uh, cold for my area but the incarnata is a much much hardier plant as we can see so it's um, really pleased that this location is much much better for it than the other north facing fence I had it on which was also a sort of a obviously much too wet an area and had far too many snails so I'm hoping the snails and slugs won't completely eat all these shoots but once they get going and get up to better foot then they'll probably grow faster than the slugs and snails can eat them but exciting news my uh, first Passiflora incarnata to have survived winter properly and sending up lots of shoots so um, there should hopefully be some updates on that this summer with uh, with uh, with any luck flowers by uh, sometime in July thanks for watching the video please give me a thumbs up um, obviously uh, I'd appreciate it if you share the video subscribe to my channel of course and click on the bell if you like updates on new videos as they come out. I will catch up with you on the next video. Brett out for now.